Listening off the dock When the black leg miner creeps to work With his moleskin pants and the t-shirt It goes a black leg miner It all began in 1926. The general strike was over. The leaders returned to the valleys and said prepare for the struggle. They said the Russians had sent money. The kitchens will stay open. They said the children will not starve. But the valleys knew they had made a mistake. In 26, a new spirit was awake. For in these valleys at the turn of the century was born a breed of men who began to think strongly and act strongly. Out of these gray green hills, a new man came down, self-educated with an eloquence and a humor that has since left its mark on the pages of history. In 1926, they were young men, and with the same vigor as they threw off the old religion. So they embraced the new one, socialism. They called their organization the Miners' Federation, and in 1926, it was the most powerful trade union this country had ever seen. Their one weapon was the right to strike. <laughs> 